In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a fairly simple Python script in order to mount GUID partitions from an image file. So here's my script. I start out with shebang, user bin Python. I import a couple of Python modules. And this here is a list of GUIDs for partition types that are supported. In other words, things that we can mount. And you'll see that this list is pretty long because Linux will mount most anything. And I'm going to skip down here to my main for a second. And here in my main method, I say, did you give me no arguments? Did you not give me an image file? If you did not, I'm going to call usage, which says, please give me an image next time. And then I check the first sector. I pull the first sector. Recall that the first sector will be an old school MBR. So I get the MBR and I check it and make sure it really is an MBR. And in most cases, it should be an MBR with one partition and that partition type should be EE. So I check for that. And if that's not the case, then I'm going to tell you that it failed the sanity check. Then I'll do another sanity check and I will look at the header for the GUID partition table that is in the next sector. So I open the file, I seek 512 bytes, one sector, and then I check and make sure that it starts out with the string EFI part. And if I did find that, I print out a message. I then open the file, seek past those first two sectors, and then I pull in 32 sectors. So 32 sectors should have all 128 entries. I then define an empty list and I iterate over that list. For each of these, I call GPT record. I create an object of that type and I give it the entire thing with an index. And we'll look at that code here in a second. Then if it's not empty, I print out some information and I append it to my list. So here I say if the partition type is in my supported list, which we saw earlier, print out that it seems to be supported and attempt to mount it. And this mount process is the same as what we've had before. And that is pretty much our script. So let's go back. This MBR record, that's just for reading the first sector. Here, I take the entire list of 128 and then again with an offset. I set the partition number equal to what was passed in. And my offset is just the partition number times 128. Initially, I say it's not empty. And then I get the partition type. And I call this little helper method called print GUID. I give it the appropriate substring, which is offset to offset plus 16. Because recall, these are 16 bytes long. And then I check, and here's that helper method, by the way. It's a little bit of Python magic using things such as unpack and format, and then using this zero fill option in order to put any leading zeros in this string. By the way, one thing that's a little weird about these strings, they're little ended for the first three entries and big ended for the last two entries. So something to keep in mind if you work with these a lot. So here I say, is it empty? This is the empty partition type, all zeros. If so, then I set empty to true. And I set the partition GUID using that same helper method, first LBA, last LBA, using the unpack method. These are little end in format eight byte numbers. I'm doing something a little bit strange here. I have this name index, which is set equal to the location of 0000, if it's found. And the reason for that is sometimes you have Unicode strings that are null terminated, and then sometimes they have other weird terminators. So I've seen cases where you'll have a null terminator like this, and then you'll have some junk behind it. And I didn't want that to mess up our script. So in order to not mess up the script, if I don't find that null value, I will look at the entire string. Otherwise, I will look at the substring up until that null value. And this encode UTF-8 will convert from Unicode to ASCII. Have this 
other method that will print the partition. And that's pretty much it. So that is that script and we're ready to move on and actually start analyzing our images because we now have found a way to mount all of them. So now we're going to try to run our script. Now, by way of warning, I don't have an entire image for my hard drive on my laptop that I'm doing this video on. So I'm just going to run this script, but not as root. So all the mount commands will fail, but they were going to fail anyway because there's actually no data. So if I go ahead and run my script on my parcel image, I will see that it prints out several partitions. There should be seven of them. The first one has scrolled just off my screen. And then it will go through the list of partitions that I think are mountable, and it will try. So here it tried to mount these three partitions, and of course they failed because I'm not running this as real. Well, that's all for this video.